in last video we have discussed about the venus stabilization into the sign of virgo today we are going to talk about the exaltation of saturn by the way saturn gets exalted into the sign of libra so keep watching Namaste and welcome to Pramanic Astrology channel. I'm your host Prasad Mahajani. Saturn exaltation. What is Saturn? Saturn is the planet of success. What Prasad? But I have heard bad things about Saturn that Saturn brings hardship, delays and all the difficulty in life. Yes, Saturn brings in delay, can bring in hardship as well. But those are worth. Saturn is the planet which will show you the reality of the life. When you are daydreaming or you are into the over optimism of the Jupiterian realm, you need a reality check. You want to become that film star. You want to become the next sports star. But are you the vibrational match of what you're seeking? is the question Saturn will ask you. Saturn will show you the reality. That doesn't mean that you won't become the next superstar. The next superstar will also go through all these things, but he will have the perseverance. He will have the patience and he will have the continuous hardworking attitude. And that is Saturn. So Saturn will show you where you are in life. You have the high hopes, you have the optimism in life. And if that optimism goes beyond certain limit, you're going to fail in life because you are far away from the reality. And if you have understood the reality, no matter how gloomy or how negative it seems at first but once you are aware of your current status you can become successful and that's what saturn does saturn shows you the reality and gives you the hard working attitude to achieve the goals and that is why saturn is the planet of success i love saturn in the natural horoscope, Saturn rules the 10th house and 11th house. You won't believe, but the house of gains, the Labhasthan is ruled by Saturn. And the house of loss is ruled by Jupiter. Can you believe that? Still, Jupiter is benefic and Saturn is malefic. Malefic and benefic is a whole different story. We'll cover it when we'll talk about the yoga Karaka planets as well. But when we are considering the Saturn, Saturn rules the 11th house of the natural horoscope. So it is the ultimate lava. The, the lava which Saturn will give you, nobody else can take back from you. That is the ultimate reward for your karmas. 10th house is the house of karma is also ruled by the Saturn. You have Saturn in the 10th house, ruling the 10th house and 11th house. So your karmas, your highest material achievement, who you will be, who you will be known as in this public life. <coughs> Excuse me, the 10th house life, the zenith where you will shine and the gains from that 10th house because it is the second to the 10th, the Dhanasthan to the 10th house. So these are the ultimate gains. So Saturn is a planet which is really misunderstood. Saturn is the planet which makes you work. So now let us look at what happens when you have Saturn exalted. Saturn exaltation is one of the dignity of the Saturn along with the debilitation and own sign and moon trikon sign and so on. 
when a saturn goes exalted it works on a higher plane we talked about saturn but saturn is also the significator of the negativity in life we all want that comfortable and easy life nobody wants to really work hard everybody wants an easy and comfortable life and when we don't get it we complain about it and that's the reason when you have the sade sati or the dahiya or you have the saturn mahadasha going on it will make you work but that work is worth towards something higher and real and that's why the success of the saturn is real saturn is also the intelligent planet saturn is great at critical analysis or analysis saturn is also about the masses is about the subordinate saturn is about death restriction time longevity saturn is also the planet of the disabilities or the poverty scarcity the polar opposite to, to the jupiter now what is the sign of libra libra is the sign ruled by venus is an air element sign and is a cardinal sign venus is the planet of beauty luxury comforts relationships sensitivity receptivity and beauty symmetry love peace harmony marriage and relationship it is also about the comforts in your life libra is an air element sign air element sign are social and intelligent what are the other air element sign the gemini libra and the aquarius these three are the air element sign which are intelligent and social the sign of libra is also about the cooperation is about the justice is about exchange and trade and business like all the seventh house significations the sign of libra is one of the cardinal signs cardinal signs bring in the change and with the seventh house or the seventh rashi it is the change with the other opportunities libra sign is also the sign of the social justice libra sign the people having the prominent libra influence in their life when i say libra influence it is like they have sun in the libra moon in the libra ascendant in the libra or most of the planets in the libra sign so those who have that influence in their life they have social sense they will rally their support to the social things which they believe in they will simply protest against the things which they don't believe in they won't they won't tolerate any injustice now saturn comes into the sign of libra if we look at the sign of libra the planet of the justice comes into the house of justice house excuse me sign of justice excuse me if i say house it's a sign the planet of justice comes into the sign of justice and that's why it gets exalted now the saturn has the environment of the social justice awareness about the social justice and saturn is the planet of the masses about the distribution of power to the subordinates and masses so saturn loves being into the sign of libra libra is the sign ruled by venus libra is beautiful the planet of the old age and the uh, ugliness comes into the sign of the beauty if you look at the significations of the libra sign and the saturn you will you will be surprised why saturn gets exalted into the sign of libra because libra is beautiful sensitive 
and is abundant where uh, whereas saturn is all about scarcity is ugly and is cold is old and who is you know seems exactly opposite to the venusian qualities then why saturn is exalted into the sign of libra libra is also the sign of balance saturn loves humility and balance he doesn't like arrogance and ego so libra is all about the sensitivity and the balance and about the social justice as we talked and the fairness seventh rashi the libra sign is also about the other people which is also the signification which resonates well with saturn saturn is the planet of the subordinates more so is about the masses saturn is not the king it's the masses which make the king it's the subordinate which makes the king it's the subjects which make the king and that's what saturn is and seventh rashi libra holds the signification for the other people when saturn comes into the sign of libra it makes person down to earth it makes person minimalistic the person with the saturn in the libra makes person minimalistic because he has low expectations he can live below his means he is not extravagant he is not expecting much he is humble and all the significations of the venus beauty comfort and all those flashy things are tapered down you know somewhat restricted by the saturn and which helps the person to be successful the space of libra has three nakshatras in it the few padas of the chitra nakshatra swati nakshatra and vishakha nakshatra chitra nakshatra is the dasha ruler is mars for swati it's rahu and for vishakha is jupiter when saturn is going through this chitra nakshatra like up to first 4 or 5 degrees it is vargottam what is vargottam planet when a planet placed in the same sign in d1 and d9 it becomes vargottam so when saturn is into the first 3 4 degrees of the libra it gets vargottama and when it is into the swati nakshatra and around 11 to 14 degrees it goes into its own sign in d1 it's exalted and in d9 it's either in the capricorn or in the sign of aquarius okay so you have to look for these periods if you have saturn exalted and into these degrees and nakshatras it tend to perform better exaltation does not mean good debilitation does not mean bad you have saturn exalted but you need to check the lord of the libra venus if it is also in good dignity condition ishta phala kashta phala lajita di avastha and having a good agenda for your ascendant then this saturn tends to do better then this saturn will give you even positive results then you can expect great results from this saturn so you have you have to look for all these signification like what are the planets conjunct with this saturn what are the planets aspecting this saturn and then you can come to the conclusion as to how this saturn is going to perform whether it is involved into any yogas uh, what exactly is happening in the context of the mahadasha you always have to look for the mahadashas your horoscope will tell you what is the potential and dasha sequence of your chart will tell you when oh it's it seems that this person is going to get the fame when your dasha sequence will give you the hint about the when 
will give you the exact date as well but maybe we will talk about that in some other videos what to watch next if you're new to vedic astrology or new to pramanic astrology just go to my youtube page and start exploring the fascinating world of vedic astrology just i would recommend you to start your journey with how to get started into vedic astrology or best of the pramanic astrology playlist or planets through houses series or retrograde effect of retrograde planet series or you can just go and start exploring any of the playlist and start your journey if you have any questions add me on instagram at pramanic astrology i read all the comments sorry i read all the dms and i reply to almost all the dms if you have any question now you can put your questions into the comment section as well i read all the comments and i try to reply to almost all the comments sending you tons of positive energy sending you high vibrations see you in the next videos love and peace